Uh huh. Playing golf or hitting a ball in softball. 
if you don't keep practicing and do the technique right, you gotta think about it and you're now you're too late. When you gotta think about something, you're too late. So you gotta drill these things. Right? So I think I did probably a million stand-ups in my life. <laughs> you know. And I would go to one practice, then I'd go to a second practice when I when I was doing myself. You know, I I worked out probably at one time, probably six hours a day, seven hours a day. But I felt like I had to catch up because I didn't start until I was soft one nice one. Question coach? Yeah. Can you suggest a drill to do solo? One of the things that you can do solo is sitting here getting your hips out. Say you got a guy behind you, and this, it, it, it's, uh, and you got his hands here. He's trying to take you down. But man, should be behind you, right? So I'm really, he's here. Um, yeah, it's about hand control and weight control. I'm gonna try to break this, and then I'm gonna get my. You're gonna make sure your elbows come inside here, and then it's just a step. It's called a hip pipes, and that works on the bottom, that works in the sand, that works a lot of times in different places. Sorry. Same thing from here. Okay. Yeah, behind me. Guys here, I clear this leg, hand control first, and that's how the sit out, the, the, the sit out and wrestling is, is the hip pipes. basically here. And he's gonna, at this point, he'll try to come up and drive into me. But I'm gonna keep back pressure so that he can't, and not let him get on my throat. Hand control here. You gotta control hands. As soon as you lose hand control, he's coming around, right? Here. Um, just having a partner. To, to do this with. It's huge wrestling, MMA, all those things. There's a lot of drills that you can't do without a You know what I mean? Yeah. What about like bouncing uh, what's it called? Like, them big like, rubber balls, exercise balls, and sprawling them? Yeah, you could do a practice sprawling on a big exercise ball. That would be, I, I've never thought of that, but you definitely could. Um, uh, just up down for football. You're sitting there, you're up down. Hands up. For a sprawl, a sprawl boy, that's a good drill. We used to we used to practice stand ups and other things that in wrestling that you probably would use so much in MMA. Don't do this. Yeah. Uh, with a guy in the back, we do a stand up drill. You're coming up and you're trying to get on your feet, but the guy you guys trying to hold you down. Not yeah, what about conditioning wise? What were you doing a lot of conditioning for? Like, what was your? I ran probably eight to nine miles a day. I lifted weights probably five days a week, yeah. and I did two wrestling practices a day. Yeah. I would go to my high school. In high school, I go to my high school practice, and then the junior wrestling practice was after that, and then I go do that. But like I said, I felt like I had to catch up. I didn't start until I was sophomore in high school. Some of those guys have been doing this since they were four. You know? I also felt like that I had to be in better shape than everybody else. And I also felt that it took me longer to get in that kind of condition. You know, but the better shape you're in, the better your lungs are, the end of the match is yours. You know what I mean? How many miles a day did you say? I did about eight. What was your weight after that? I wrestled at 138 in high school, 142 in college. Okay. So I was 3% body fat. Yeah, you didn't know. So, summertime I didn't cut. <laughs> so summertime I just work out and my natural weight at summer was about 155 and 60. Looking like a mule. <laughs> anyway, we're going to do a couple of drills. Um, let me start. Well, let me start with uh, 
we'll do a basic headlock. I was going to show the uh, the chancery, but that's more of a wrestling thing. I'll show it to you just for fun. I grabbed Billy's wrist. Billy grabs my wrist. We're down low. Both of you have the same move right now. So I push in. He pushes back. And when he pushes back, I'm going to throw my arm over his head, my head onto this arm at the same time. And when I do that, I'm just going to take this leg and shoot it between his legs and grab his knee. <laughs> so like I was telling a lot of these guys before, if he has my wrist, who has the advantage? Who has the advantage, Billy? Me or you? Wrong. I got everything you got. He grabs my wrist, I'm sitting here, he grabs my wrist. He has my wrist, right? I got everything he's got, push, pull, whatever. If he's hanging on tight, and the guy's got your wrist, it, he's got, you've got every move he's got. Mm -hmm. You're just not doing this. <laughs> All right, so basically we're going to go to, uh, we'll just go over the headlock of something that I showed before, but this is, a, this is called a, we use this as a crush down, it's not a throw. You're coming in here and you're fighting and you lock up, take your shoulder, drive it into his forehead, lock him in. And now I'm just going to throw this and I'm going to drive it straight to the ground. Right here. Kick my leg out. Did you try to make that more of like a swinging throw? Don't a lot of people roll with that? Uh, they can, but if you're going to do that one, the swinging throw, you get your hips all the way through. On the headlock, you have to get your hips all the way through, all the way to here. Got to have the momentum, and you're going to throw them all the way over your back so it's 90 degrees. Now they can't roll you through. But if you stay more parallel with them, when you hit, you're more like this. When you hit, and they're just going to squeeze and rock. Okay? Anyway, we're doing, the, we're doing the one, and this is it. Lock up, lock it up, come in here, behind the scapula here. If he sticks his head way over here, I got him right now. I don't have to do much. I don't even have to hold on here. I just grab him here. And then I drive my arm and my body straight to the mat, right in front of me. Kicking this leg backwards. Real simple. So let's try that. And I'll 